Favorite fall facts, rediscover information on this colorful season. Well, it's that time of year again when the days grow a little shorter and the sun sets earlier and earlier. You might feel a slight coolness in the air and notice the leaves on certain trees starting to change color. You probably find yourself trading in those sandals and shorts for boots and sweatshirts. Yep, we're talking about fall or autumn if you prefer. But either way, summer is on the way out and fall is ushering in. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the FAQ Factory channel where we research different questions or topics and share that information with you, the viewers. In honor of the changing seasons, we thought we'd take a closer look at some of the interesting things about fall. So if you'd like a brief informative session on some fun fall facts, sit back as we explore this colorful and my personal favorite season. The first official day of autumn 2023 is Saturday, September 23rd. The first day of fall, also known as the autumnal equinox, typically occurs around September 22nd or 23rd in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, this date marks the beginning of spring. However, the exact date can vary slightly from year to year due to the way our calendar system is structured. This is because our calendar is based on a combination of the solar year, the time it takes for the Earth to orbit the Sun, and the Gregorian calendar system, which has leap years to account for the fact that a year is approximately 365.25 days long. The equinox occur when the sun is directly above the equator and day and night are roughly equal in length all over the world. The autumnal equinox is when the sun crosses the celestial equator moving from north to south, marking the beginning of fall in the northern hemisphere. In summary, autumn is determined by the position of the earth in its orbit around the sun, specifically when the sun crosses the celestial equator. This event is what defines the official start of the fall season. So why are there different names for this particular season? You've probably heard it referred to both as fall and autumn. It's kind of interesting considering none of the other seasons have two names. So where did the names come from? Well, the terms fall and autumn are both used to refer to the season between summer and winter, and their usage depends on regional and historical factors. Fall is believed to have originated from Middle English during the 16th century. It comes from the phrase fall of the leaves or fall of the leaf, which describes the characteristic shedding of leaves from deciduous trees during this season. Autumn, on the other hand, has roots in the Latin word autumnus, which likely entered Middle English through Old French in the late 14th century. It has been used in English to describe this season since at least the 16th century. The usage of these terms can be influenced by cultural, historical, and regional factors. In British English, autumn is the more common term, while in American English, both fall and autumn are used interchangeably. Fall gained popularity in American English during the 17th century, possibly due to the influence of early American colonists. Both terms have a long history and have evolved over time through linguistic and cultural influences, and it really just comes down to personal preference when choosing which one to say. Most of us associate certain activities and even flavors with fall or autumn, but this may be somewhat of a regional thing as some places don't experience the change of seasons and weather like others. But here in the middle upper parts of North America, we get to welcome in a whole new set of seasonal flavors and activities as part of the changing season. As the seasons shift, fall introduces a distinct palette of flavors that define this time of year. Perhaps the most popular? is pumpkin. Pumpkin is a quintessential autumn ingredient, finding its way into a variety of dishes from classic pumpkin pies to the ever popular pumpkin spice lattes. It's hard to avoid this particular fruit during this time of year. Another flavor is cinnamon. With its warm and cozy scent, it's a staple in fall baking, enhancing creations like apple pies and cinnamon rolls. Apples, abundant in the fall harvest, also have their time to shine and are featured prominently in recipes such as cider and caramel apples. Tart cranberries are often another fruit utilized in sauces and chutneys, providing a contrast to sweeter fall offerings. Spices like nutmeg and ginger lend depth and warmth to seasonal fare, while sweet potatoes, rich and earthy, become the base for casseroles, pies, and even soups. 
Maple syrup, a hallmark of autumn, graces dishes with its distinctive sweetness, elevating roasted vegetables and pecan pies. The rich, velvety taste of caramel, or caramel if you will, takes center stage in indulgent treats like caramel apples and desserts. Squash varieties like butternut and acorn bring a hearty element to both savory and sweet dishes. Roasted chestnuts offer a nostalgic touch, and cloves blend harmoniously with other fall spices. These flavors not only satisfy the palate, but also reflect the comforting traditions of the season. Do you have a favorite fall flavor or food that you look forward to? Let us know in the comments. Personally, I love a good PSL. Along with food are the autumn activities that become available to take part in. Whether it's because of cooler weather or the nature of the time of year, some things are associated with the fall season. Fall is a season rich with distinctive activities that capture the essence of the changing weather and harvest season. So if you're looking for some traditional or typical activities associated with fall, you may want to consider some of the following. Apple picking. Visiting apple orchards to hand-pick fresh apples is a beloved fall tradition for many families. Pumpkin Patch Visits Exploring pumpkin patches to select the perfect pumpkins for carving or decoration is a quintessential fall activity. Corn Mazes Navigating through intricate mazes carved into cornfields provides a fun and often challenging fall adventure. Hay Rides Riding on a wagon filled with hay while enjoying the scenic beauty of autumn is a cherished fall pastime. Fall Festivals Attending local fall festivals, which often feature activities like food tastings, craft markets, and live entertainment, is a common way to celebrate this season. Hiking and Nature Walks Exploring forests and trails to experience the beauty of fall foliage is a favorite outdoor activity this time of year. Baking and Cooking Embracing fall flavors by baking apple pies, pumpkin bread, or preparing hearty stews and soups is a cozy culinary tradition. Halloween Celebrations Planning and participating in Halloween festivities, including costume parties, trick-or-treating, and haunted house visits is a major part of fall for many. Harvest Celebrations Joining in on local harvest celebrations, which often include activities like grape stomping, cider pressing, and pumpkin contests, is a wonderful way to embrace the season. Football games. Attending or hosting tailgate parties and watching football games is a popular fall pastime for sports enthusiasts. Fall crafts. Engaging in seasonal crafting activities like making wreaths, decorating gourds, and creating DIY home decor items adds a creative touch to the season. Camping. Taking advantage of the cooler weather and vibrant scenery by going camping in natural settings is also a popular fall activity. Foliage drives. Embarking on scenic drives to enjoy the picturesque fall landscapes is a leisurely way to soak in the season's beauty. These activities help create cherished memories and allow people to fully immerse themselves in the unique charm and atmosphere of the fall season. Now let's take a closer look at one of those fall favorites we mentioned. Pumpkins. Did you know that there are hundreds of different kinds of pumpkins? Many are grown for both eating and decoration and come in a variety of colors and shapes. We all know the traditional orange pumpkins, but there are a multitude of colored pumpkins to choose from. Green, gray, blue, white, yellow, black, stripe, speckled, and spotted. There's almost no limit to the variations available. And in terms of size, again, the variety is incredible. You'll find small pumpkins that fit in your hand to those that weigh hundreds of pounds. So let's take a closer look at some of the unusual pumpkins. We'll take a moment here to note that some of these may be technically classified as a squash versus pumpkin or even a gourd, but since we're looking at those used for both eating and decoration, we're going to refer to them all as varieties of pumpkins. All three actually belong to the gourd family. Pumpkins are known for their smooth or ribbed, round or oval shape and are commonly used in cooking or carving. Gourds have a wide variety of shapes, colors, and textures and are typically used in decorations. Squash come in diverse shapes and colors and their usage depends on whether they are a summer or winter variety. But let's introduce you to five of our favorite pumpkins. Blue Hubbard. The Blue Hubbard squash is a large oblong looking variety. 
It has blue or gray skin that can be somewhat bumpy. It usually weighs in at around 12 to 15 pounds. Not only does the Hubbard look cool, it is actually a very good variety for eating. It's delicious and contains both vitamins A and C, making it one of the healthiest pumpkins you can choose. Cinderella. This variety is a round, flatter-shaped pumpkin that comes in oranges and reds. Think the carriage in Cinderella, which is where it gets its name. This pumpkin originates and is widely cultivated in France. It was introduced to the U.S. in the 19th century, where they later came to be called by their familiar Cinderella name. This pumpkin is both fun to look at and makes for excellent eating. One too many. A large round pumpkin, the One Too Many, has distinctive coloring. It has a white background with an orange and or green lace-like pattern overlaying the white base. The name seems to be a nod to either the bloodshot eyes of someone who's overindulged in adult beverages or the red face flush of a chronic drinker. Either way, this pumpkin makes an eye-catching decoration or a great pie. Peanut. Originating from France, this heirloom variety is definitely eye-catching. Usually a large 15 plus pound pumpkin, it has a flatter round shape similar to a wheel of cheese. The peanuts are light brown bumps or warts that sporadically cover the pumpkin. The bumps are reminiscent of peanut shells and it kind of looks like someone glued peanuts to the outside of the pumpkin's skin. But the bumps are actually sugar deposits that indicate the sweetness of the pumpkin. This variety is used for both eating and decor thanks to its unusual looks. Turk's Turban. Turk's Turban is arguably the most visually interesting pumpkin on our list. It has a stunning color combination of dark orange, white, and green, but the colors are not this variety's only unique feature. The shape looks much like a turban hat, hence the name. Or held the other way around, picture a mushroom with a smaller bottom and larger top. This is also an edible winter squash and is said to be sweet and nutty in flavor. We could actually make a video just on pumpkin varieties because there are literally hundreds of pumpkins we could elaborate on, but we'll move on to some other fall info. Do you have a favorite kind of pumpkin? The fall, of course, refers to the falling leaves, but do you know why tree leaves change color and fall off? It's actually all due to science and mother nature. During the growing season, leaves are green due to a pigment called chlorophyll, crucial for photosynthesis. As days shorten and temperatures drop, trees receive signals that winter is coming, leading to a slowdown in metabolic processes. This triggers a breakdown of chlorophyll, revealing other pigments which produce the vibrant hues of autumn. Eventually, the tree closes off veins that supply the leaf with nutrients, leading to its detachment and fall. This shedding conserves resources for the tree during the winter months. So when you see those stunning autumn colors, you're witnessing nature's way of preparing for the colder season. Trees in warm climates, specifically those in tropical and subtropical regions, often do not experience the same dramatic leaf shedding as deciduous trees in temperate climates. Instead, they fall into two main categories, evergreen trees and semi-evergreen trees. In these warm climates, environmental cues such as temperature and day length tend to be relatively consistent, so trees do not receive the same signals to enter a dormant phase and shed their leaves. Autumn has a number of holidays that occur during the fall season, which can of course vary depending on the country, culture, and specific religious or cultural observances. In many cultures, the fall season typically includes the following major holidays. Labor Day, which is the first Monday in September in the United States. This holiday honors and recognizes the American labor movement and the works and contributions of laborers to the development and achievements of the country. While it technically occurs a few weeks before the official start of fall, this holiday often marks the beginning of fall for many people in America. Halloween, October 31st. Celebrated in various countries, Halloween is a fun and spooky holiday that involves activities like costume parties, trick-or-treating, and haunted house visits. Thanksgiving falls on the fourth Thursday in November in the United States and the second Monday in October in Canada. Thanksgiving is a time to give thanks for the harvest and blessings of the past year. It is often celebrated with a feast shared with family and friends. All Saints Day. November 1st, Western Christian Church. This day honors all saints, known and unknown, who have attained heaven. 
It is followed by All Souls Day on November 2nd, which is dedicated to praying for the souls of the departed. Diwali. The date varies, but it's usually in October or November and is on the Hindu calendar. Diwali, also known as the Festival of Lights, is a major Hindu holiday celebrated with lights, feasts, and the exchange of gifts. Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos. November 1st and 2nd, celebrated in Mexico and other Latin American countries. This holiday honors and remembers deceased loved ones through various customs and traditions. Remembrance Day, November 11th, celebrated in various countries including Canada and the UK. This day commemorates members of the armed forces who lost their lives in the line of duty during World War I and subsequent conflicts. Hanukkah. The date varies on the Jewish calendar, but usually it falls in late November to late December. Also known as the Festival of Lights, Hanukkah celebrates the miracle of the oil in the Jewish temple and is marked by the lighting of the menorah. These are some of the major holidays commonly associated with the fall season, but there may be additional regional or cultural celebrations that occur during this time as well. The autumn season marks a change for many animal species too. In the fall, birds embark on a remarkable journey known as migration, driven by a series of critical survival instincts. Speaking of birds that migrate, if you missed our last video on the hummingbird, click the link in the description to watch that video next. As the days grow shorter and temperatures drop, food sources become scarce, prompting birds to seek more abundant nourishment in warmer climates. Migrating also helps them escape the challenges of maintaining their body temperature in the cold. For many species, specific breeding and nesting sites offer optimal conditions for reproduction, motivating them to journey to these regions. This strategic movement also reduces competition for resources. Guided by their sensitivity to changing day lengths, birds undergo hormonal shifts that trigger the migration response. Ultimately, this ancient behavior allows birds to access a wider range of habitats, contributing to their long-term survival and genetic diversity. Fall is a yearly marker for many animals, helping them prepare for the winter season. Whether it's signaling of time to migrate or to prepare hibernation sites or laying eggs for next spring, fall is a part of Earth's natural cycle. While we could continue to go on and on, we're going to end our video on the fall season. We had fun during this little fall fact refresher, and we hope you did too. If you found this video informative and entertaining, give us a like and follow below for more informative videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep questioning.